Hello. Um, we are live. Hey, hey everyone. Surprise um, live stream. <laughs> we're PAX here at PAX East, East 2019. Yeah. Um, how are we getting on? Have we? I assume we're. There yeah. we are. I'm going to jump into oh that. I'm going to put a link on Twitter. So okay, good. Know, That's a pretty good idea. Live streaming. Um, it's a bit of an experiment. Yes, we don't normally go live from places like this. Uh, but here we are at a live show in a hidden yeah. room around the corner. Yeah, when you say places like this, it's I don't just mean a room with a brown, no, brown we're, ball. No, we're in a, a hidden secret yeah. meeting room. Come find us, don't come find um, us. And we've had a busy day. We've had a busy couple yeah. of days, right? Yeah. We have. Hang on, I'm just. Tweets. The tweet's gone. Okay, it's good. Sent. Your tweet was sent, says Twitter. Thanks, Twitter. Oh, and Talk do let us know, there. again, completely impromptu, so we've got a, a mobile setup. Uh, so do let us know. Um, how do we sound? How, how we, we sound, look. how we look. Yeah. Uh, someone's very excited. Like, hey, oh, people wow. are there. there's some people in the chat. Hey, there's Thanks like for 300 joining. people with us. Whoa. Hey, oh. everybody. Hi. So we thought we'd just cue some, uh, A some cues. Yeah, if you've got any questions yeah. about PAX East yeah, or what we're up to. Yeah, give us your cues and we'll um, leave them. Yeah, we're just, uh, you know, making the most of our time here. Mm -hmm. um, uh, people, Shannon Fordback says, how's Boston, guys? Uh, great. Bean Town. Yeah, we did the, uh, the Freedom Trail. We walked around. Uh, Luke got a map to vacation dad all over the place. Yeah. It was great. Yeah, there's I saw a, the oldest Chipotle okay, in America. No, there's, <laughs> there's an old revolutionary uh, bookstore, book, book which is now a Chipotle. Which yeah, is, it's um, quite funny. Yeah, it's pretty Beautiful good. building, though. Yeah, yeah. it's lovely. lovely. Uh, and great burritos. Yeah. Every, everything <laughs> sounds and looks good. Good. Sounds great to me. Wow. Good wow. job, Mike. It's, it's Mike on the, on if, the technical. If you can see what it looks here. like, it's real cobbled together. Yeah, we are literally in a meeting room. <laughs> yeah, it's gorilla live streaming. Mm. Convention center. So that's cool. Uh, so yeah, where's everyone watching from? What are you up to? Or yeah. any of you at PAX yeah. watching oh, this? Maybe you're in a queue for something. Probably hunting, like, like listening, probably hunting around the corridors, listening for our voice Ooh, to try and work out where we are. Oh, that would be weird. Oh god. Okay, so what do we do this morning? We did a meet and greet. We met and greet a whole, a whole bunch lot of people. people, and it was very fun. Mm. Yeah. And everyone was very cool. Yeah. There's um, a, a gentleman who danced around to the, jump the by Van Halen. Of jump by Van Halen. Real, he real brought good. such energy. Yes. I think he brought our energy levels up yeah. as well. Yeah, we needed that. We could could we hire him as like a one man hype, entourage? Hype man. Yeah. He just follows <laughs> us around with a boombox. Cull Obsidian says how much tasty Boston food have you had? We had <gasps> we had lobster rolls for lunch. Well, and they were I'm so glad you asked. Yeah, this morning excited. we went to a place called uh, Mike and Oh gosh. Pa Mike and Patty's. Patties. Mike and Patty's. It's a sandwich oh shop. Yeah. Um, highly recommended. Near mm. near the hotel and it was Delicious. Oh, hey, Josh Best Fiorini. Best breakfast sandwiches. Hey. Hello, Josh. Oh, Josh. We, we just met Josh uh, in says, the queue. He says, hi, guys. It was fantastic to finally meet you, as well as a number of other fans. Everyone was awesome. Your D&D show was a blast. Hope yeah. the rest of your trip is great. And thanks for coming out to the US. Thanks, Dude, Josh. Thank you for coming to meet us. It was really good to meet you. Um, yeah, D&D was last night. We did a late, late show. Yeah. It was fun. I kind of like nine. doing the late ones. Yeah. It so. feels like, a, feels like a bit, of, bit of an actual shed. sort of comedy show. Yeah. yeah. If, if there was a, a bar involved, it would be just the ideal after yes. hours. Yes, we were Life absolutely, show. not absolutely sober, but mostly <laughs> sober for it. Yeah, mostly. Uh, I mean, but then that was offset by how jet lagged we were. Yes, yeah. Um, which was quite so. Yeah, yeah, it's been, I'm just about adjusting now, but the way I adjust is by staying up beyond midnight every night. Yeah. Luke is, that, is that adjusting? Yeah. Oh, okay. Luke right. was joking that uh, Johnny should have had us all under a magical debuff called jet lag. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so I think like a curse. The, yeah. In like the end, he, he created. I, mean, I don't think it's a spoiler to say he created a character basically called Jet Lag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, she's not the. Mo she, yeah. It's not a spoiler because she's not really the most no. important element. No. It. So big things happened, and yeah. don't worry if you weren't there because mm -hmm. it will go up on the yeah. YouTube channel after our MCM show from yes. the previous week goes up on the YouTube channel. So we're like way ahead. Like it's going to be like a mini series coming yeah. soon. There's a lot of live D&D &D coming to the YouTube Xbox channel. And yeah. extra and, and you'll, you'll see it all. Uh, Frodo Baggins is asking where uh, Ellen and Tall Ellen. They are, they're getting show the weekend. Somewhere really. over there, yeah. In another room. Yeah, they're in elsewhere. a different secret room. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's, <laughs> there's so many secret rooms yeah. in the Boston Convention Center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so they're hard at work. Michael mm. Blaise, or Blaze says, hey, saw you last night, hoping to meet you Sunday. So many shirt ideas from last night. Oh. Yeah, yeah, there's a, it, there's a lot of very memeable <laughs> content in that D&D. &D. Yep. Now, now you've said it, it can't be a meme. No, yeah, it's, it's all uh, over. This is where all the magic happens. This yeah. is a live stream. Oh, actually, we're literally live Catherine from oh, yeah. US Gamers here. Yeah. Say hello. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> wow, I thought you guys were just talking about doing no. like video stuff. No, I didn't realize you were actually we're doing actually, yeah. you are live This is live on the internet. Sports, so. live okay, okay, right. there we go. Yeah, there we go. So there check out usgamer.net uh, for coverage from PAX. What have you guys been up to? 
Uh, we've been up to a heck of a lot. I just checked out a game called SteamWorld Quest, which is this awesome RPG from the SteamWorld people. Sounds cool. I went over to just check out the Shadow of the Tomb Raider DLC. Oh, nice. Yeah, we uh, also, if you're interested in that new Divinity Tactics game, I strongly recommend that you go to the site because we talked to the Larian Studios people. Cool. We got a hands-on with it. Very so nice. Sounds very good. Very busy packs. So yeah, what have you got next? Yes. What's next on the agenda? Well, we just celebrated the top, the 200th episode of Acts of the Blood God, which is going oh. up on Monday. That's our cool. RPG podcast. Podcast, and nice. we picked the best, the best story, the best soundtrack, the best RPG developer. Excellent. The whole nine yards. So, holy crap. Like, I didn't even realize <laughs> I would have to go into promotional mode. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Yeah, so, thank you. Good job. Awesome. Yeah. Well, enjoy the rest of the show. And, uh... I will. And if you're at PAX East, come to our panel. Uh, we're doing Dreamcast VG247 versus oh, US Gamer. Yeah, yeah, and we got free stuff right. to give away. 9 p.m. at the Arachnid Theater. Cool. So, 9 thanks, guys. See you there. All right, take care. As cool. a good recommend on the podcast as well. Yeah, as yeah. If Definitely. you're into RPGs and podcasts. Yeah. Right. Mr. Douche Lab123 says, Hey guys, can't wait to watch the D&D on the channel. It uh, will be fun. Yeah, we should have the one from MCM up next week. I yeah, think. I think so. Early next week. John's hopefully. busy sort of yep. locking that into shape. Yep. Yes. Uh, Princess Lil Fire LG says, It was so amazing to meet you all today. I can't even say how awesome. It was, it was great, great to meet you too. It's so cool when people are like, I'm this person from Twitter or this yeah. person from the live yeah. streams. It's yeah. very, very cool. The best thing about internet handles is that they're more distinctive. Yeah, When someone's course, like, yeah. I'm John, you're like, John, it's great to see you. <laughs> yes, exactly. And they're like, I am, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Velcro. X -X -X, one, two, three. <laughs> like, I know you. Velcro, yeah, if you would like uh, you, Jane, to say hello to Kitty Beatty, who came running into the room when she heard your voice. Oh, hi, Kitty nice. Beatty, my number one cat fan. Imagine if you actually <laughs> met Kitty Beatty. Oh, my God. Uh, Kitty Beatty came to a meet and greet. Yeah. That would yes. be amazing. Can we do all Just a meet and greet meet entirely for animals. Just meet everyone's yeah. animals. Uh, <laughs> check out this sick humble brag from Cull Obsidian. Been yeah. playing Sekiro, got, to the, got from the start to the Chained Ogre and only died once. Sorry, Mike. You oh, lie. Why would you lie about the Chained Ogre? Have you managed to see any games at the expo? I'm going to just say, Cull Obsidian, that it was probably watching and learning from me <laughs> that meant you were able to do that. Standing so on the shoulders of giants. You're welcome, yeah. exactly. Uh, what was the car game that you were playing that you liked? Oh, Dangerous, Dangerous Driving. Dangerous Driving. Yeah, so uh, if you are a fan of the Burnout series, it's, uh, it's guys who worked on the Burnout series and it plays almost like Burnout exactly Burnout Takedown. Burnout Free Takedown. That you've been craving. Um, well, it, it all looks identical. Pretty they've much. got uh, Ash from the Evil Dead in uh, oh, Dead, by yeah. Dead by Daylight. Yeah. That's out um, on Monday. Mm. Ash so versus cool. Evil Dead. Yeah, he's Monday, the new hero. Yeah. We were saying it's a bit of a shame there's no... Um, villain in that pack because obviously I think the you know in Dead by Daylight the really fun things are the murderers yeah, and they could have yeah, done yeah, like yeah. evil Ash you know yeah. the kind of zombified looking yeah. like evil oh, version that fun, and it would have been yeah. really brilliant to have those two yeah. facing off against each other but you know I, I really like Dead by Daylight I, I sort of um, I lobbied hard for us to do it in Halo Stream and when we did we had a really good time so yeah. hopefully we'll play a bit and Dangerous Driving is out soon as well right yeah so real like soon yeah. we've, we've got a code for it so yeah. we'll play it yeah, 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 yeah. at some point uh, Tom Titherington says it was lovely meeting you. Thank you once again. Lovely to meet you. Lovely too. to Thanks meet you for coming too, out. It was so good meeting you. I love how many people who yeah. are here. Yeah. Yeah. Are sort of I guess watching wow. on their phones. Maybe yeah. pretty good. Which is maybe cool. they're in a, if, if you're in a queue for something, maybe for another panel. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. You'd be on your phone checking stuff out. Uh, a couple of questions about Vampire the Masquerade's Bloodlines too. So yeah. Ali Fazio says, "Hey, uh, saying hi from Indiana, Mike. How do you feel about the announcement?" Super excited. It looks the trailer's great. Yeah. Like atmospheric. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be. Excellent. Uh, they've got Brian Mitsoda, yeah. the uh, uh, original writer from Bloodlines. I think it will be really good. Full confidence. Uh, mm. Suggestion to go to Gen Con as well, biggest tabletop games con. Cool. Someone in the we'll queue gave us a, a copy, physical copy, vintage copy of the original Vampire the Masquerade. Yeah, it was Bloodlines. very, very cool. It was nice to hold, hold one of them again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kai G's asking if we thought about what our character would be in the new Vampire Masquerade. We have actually had a discussion. We've got some ideas, we've got some yeah. Ideas. We've got some ideas. Wouldn't yeah. want to spoil anything. We've described, the clans. It, we've described the clans to Andy, and I think he's got his, his eye on <laughs> his a particular own. clan, yeah, see if you can guess. guess. Yeah. yeah. Uh, John, oh, maybe that would be fun. We could uh, get people to guess. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. I, think, I think we know which one Andy will guess. I'm, I'm actually torn. If yeah. we were to do it, yeah. I was talking to uh, Johnny about this over a whiskey. We had a whiskey last right. night in the all hotel right. bar. We're all cool, um, Mike. Yeah, uh, and well, I had a whiskey and I threw it angrily into a fireplace. <laughs> right, that's what I do with whiskey. Um, but yeah, we, we were chatting about it, and I'm I'm kind of torn between who I would play if we mm. were to do a, mm. uh, a Vampire the Masquerade mm. um, campaign. Mm. Uh, Bendix is in the chat. Hey, Hi. Bendix. Oh, Hello. wow. Hey. Good to, see, good to hear from you. Can't wait to draw all the D&D things. Oh, <laughs> oh Shout boy. out to Denmark. Yeah. Hey, Bendix. Um, yeah, it's uh, some really 
bonkers stuff yeah. happened last yeah. night. Oh my God, it was so. Immense I think the, the jet lag mania did grip us <laughs> slightly, so it's probably the most chaotic D and D. What if we done. watched it back and we're all just babbling at yeah, each other? Yeah, like, wow, what a great show. We did. <laughs> oh man, John Sharplin's here. He gave me such a thoughtful gift at the meet and greet. Uh, he says, oh. "My dudes, I'm pretty sure my heart exploded meeting today, Andy. I hope you can find the time to get through that biography. Much love." He gave me a copy of Ron Chernow's biography of Alexander Hamilton, signed by Ron Chernow, very, yeah. very uh, cool. which I've been meaning to read for ages. Top gift. Mm. And yeah. I'm going to start on the plane home. I'm very Sounds excited good. to read it. So thank mm. you again. That was a really oh, thoughtful gift. Speaking of really gifts, I've got one of them here because um, this is from Christy. Yes. Who made this. I don't know if you're able to see it or if it'll be it in focus. Be fine. Yeah, yeah. Focus. Be in focus. There you go. So this, was, this is from Christy. I'm wearing the exact outfit. Look, yeah. if I stand very straight, that sort of thing. It's exactly Mike wearing his like. iconic hoodie. Yeah. And everyone else wearing their iconic outfit. I love how you said iconic rather than just lazy. What? <laughs> my, my hoodie. So look, it's a brand. It's comfy. It's but comfy. Christy couldn't be here. And, yeah, uh, she's not well. She wasn't so. very well. So get well soon, Christy. Thank mm. you so much for this, um, this masterpiece. Yeah. It's, it's really charming. It's look very, at Alan's very cool. hair. Look Andy's beard. Look at Andy's beard. <laughs> They've got my Kojima hoodie with yeah. a like, really yeah. delicate Very fine on. work there. It's very yeah. good. Um, yeah, it's been really fun meeting everyone. Um, I, we, I'm always, you know, blown away by how lovely everyone is, and, and it's been really yeah. cool to meet some of our US fans for the first time. Like, it's it's cool to be here and and you know meeting a bunch of people who otherwise wouldn't we wouldn't be able to meet. So yeah. it's been very cool. Except for uh, a very few people who are like, oh, I met you at EGX one time. Yeah, a few people have chased <laughs> us around the globe. Yeah, um, yeah, which is even, very cool. Even better. Um, yeah, it's so cool. <laughs> Mr. Pancake Fifty Four says my hand looks so pale. Sorry. Oh, we do have a light on. Yeah, there's a ring. Yeah, if yeah. I cover it up, there's a light here. Look, there you no, go. It gets less ghostly. Yeah. Whoop, there you go. Look, yeah. look at this. Yeah. This is see the sort of thing. Magic of light. Magic of light. Yeah, you can see this. Um, uh, okay, Reckless Rex is here. Hey, Rex. Saying, OMG, I'm so happy to see you. I'm also so sad I can't be there. You're so close to me, but just out of reach. Oh. My heart is breaking. I'm really don't sad, sad you couldn't make it. Don't, yeah, don't be sad. But we'll, be, we'll, we'll plan be. on being back. I, yeah. know, I think we'd really like to do this sort of thing again. And Persephone Plasmid says, please come to Utah. We love you, and I'll give you saltwater taffy. Salt. Well, we'll right. hold. Wait, <laughs> how, how much <laughs> saltwater taffy are we talking? Yeah. <laughs> no, that sounds cool. We go to Utah. Yeah, yeah we we'll Salt Lake City? Yeah. Okay, it's right. good. Uh, Zanzibar White says, when are we going to see a LOL My Dudes shirt? Also, any new <laughs> game announcements you're excited about? Uh, I, in Borderlands 3, I'm, I'm up for. Like, yeah, uh, there's a couple of questions, actually, about Borderlands I've 3. Not, I, are... I've not played a ton of the other ones. and I sort of bounced off the first one, but I had a bit more fun with Borderlands 2 and a bit more fun than that with the pre-sequel. So, so the pattern is... Yeah. You're Borderlands 3, I'm going to love it. By, um, yeah, Valkyrie Ruffy was asking how we feel about it. Um, I didn't actually see the panel yesterday. We've been so busy yeah. that we haven't had a chance to actually see the trailer. I just said before we started the live stream to Mike, I really want to <laughs> catch up on that Borderlands 3 yeah. stuff. And yeah. Yeah, maybe after this live stream I'll finally also, get to it. Also, Master Samek 17 is asking for thoughts as well. Um, yeah, I need to check that out. Uh, I, we did watch the trailer for the... Um, uh, Wolfenstein. Yeah, the young young blood looks yeah. really really mm. fun. Uh, In fact, that's that's here at the show, isn't it? I saw a. Is it? I briefly saw a banner that I I believe I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much down yeah, there. It's it's huge. Huge. I have to check it out later. Uh, yeah. And the soundtrack's by Carpenter Brut, and I have one oh, of their t-shirts. Oh, that's your fave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of your so t-shirts. One, one of, of your my, iconic t-shirts. One of my fave t-shirts. Yeah. <laughs> we need to get working on that lol my dude's shirt. Then. Oh yeah, so, right. Yeah. If, if people want it, then I am all for it. Uh, Zach Ho says I'm supposed to be in Boston next week. I'm oh. sad I missed you guys. But we oh. hope you all have an amazing time. Looking forward to the D&D videos. Yeah, yeah they be should fun. be going up soon. Hopefully. At least when you're traveling to Boston, mm. hopefully the D&D videos will be available for you to watch instead. Uh, Nathan Smathan says, are you guys enjoying some American cuisine? I tell yes. you what, we're going to a jazz brunch tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, Luke yeah. is insisting. Oh, Luke <laughs> fixated as he sometimes does I think on an idea. And this idea yeah, was, was jazz everyone's brunch, got jazz to brunch. come with me to a jazz brunch. <laughs> it's like even I don't even think that's a really Bostonian yeah. thing. It's, <laughs> it's just, just a, a Luke thing. Just a jazz brunch. And uh, are we going to that barbecue place tonight? Oh, well? that's yeah, that's a bit more. Maybe uh, I would like. Get some barbecue. I would like some. Oh, I would like some barbecue. So maybe uh, Reckless Rex wants to know if James and or John came along to Boston. No, James they nor John. They yeah. are both back home working very hard. I hope they've stopped by now because it's. Going to be like about yeah, we've got yeah. D and D edits and show of the week. Yeah, um, yeah. So yeah show of the week stuff. will be coming thanks to the to the efforts of James and John. Yes. Yeah, we're so behind on everything, but we do have a finished version of show of the week. Yeah. We just need to get it all ready for you, pretty it up for YouTube, and then yeah. it can go out. Yep. So that's cool. Uh, welcome to new member uh, Dr JPEG. Dr nice. JPEG, thanks for joining us. Big fan. <laughs> People oh, it's Dr JPEG. Dr. JPEG. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Um, people asking about uh, who's a better hitman. Well, I think we know the answer to that. Uh, yeah, uh, I we, think we do. Definitively proved it. I think we, I think um, we in 
that goes my video. I saw a comment. Um, <laughs> I saw a comment on one of our videos. Um, no, it was on Twitter actually, and someone was saying that when you do another three ways to play Hitman, yeah. uh, no one should be allowed to use, you know, like story missions. You know, there's kind of pre-programmed oh, opportunities. opportunities yeah. You should be, you know, it's a, it's a true test of skill. It should be yeah. entirely improvised. Well, they're so fun though. The they are really you fun. You get some really hilarious. Forty-seven skills. pretending to be an estate agent. Yeah, like but th they are. Um, yeah, it's a bit like Hitman by numbers. Yeah, I. I mean, I. I tend to not. No, you you, do you them, use them the least, so. I think. Um, I did use a bit of it in Whistleson Creek to get the barbecue thing set up, but oh, then yeah, I just blew up the barbecue that was and fun. Like, ran yeah, off. So, yeah. Um, I think there's always room for like, um, improvisation in, in, the, in the in the in the finale. Yeah. Of yeah. That. You're like you can just go off piste mm. and be like, well, I know I've set up this elaborate <laughs> death trap, but now I'm going to <laughs> beam you with a block of C4 yes. or something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Tommy Ford says, "Wish I could have made his packs. Love what you guys do. I love the more informal direction of the channel. Any other new changes coming to the channel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, Even more informality. Yes, yeah. <laughs> we'll be in gym jams. Mike's gonna stop wearing trousers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Live streams. <laughs> the big, the big, actually, not yeah. the big packs reveal. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh boy. Oh, All right, what else have we got? Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even uh, think it's jet lag. I think no, it's just, just faintly tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Real Grog says, wasn't so hard to get to Boston, but it wasn't in the cards. Andy, were you disappointed to have to be a heart of the whale instead of the, the lion? Yeah, the like Corazon de Ballena instead of Corazon de Leon. Corazon de Leon is a, like objectively a cooler mm. name to say. Corazon de Leon is just... It's a bit on the nose, though. Mm. Yeah, yeah, Corazon de Ballena is it's not, it's cool. I still like it. It's, it could be a lot worse. It could be, yeah, I could have a much worse. It's got a cool whale. origin story. It involves an actual yeah. whale, so it's fine. Uh, the one who snacks says, yes, pumped to see you on Sunday. Are you guys more handshake slash high five slash hug kind of people? So I don't go for a big old hug and stress you out. <laughs> we had a lot of people hugging today. We had some hugs, yeah. yeah. That's cool. I if people want to hug. We get quite a few people who ask for us, which is really yeah. nice. It's, it's nice, nice to be asked. And it, yes. it just gives you a moment of, of uh, forewarning, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> just to prepare yourself. Just someone rugby tackles you yeah. off the screen. Yeah. Uh, just a heads up for Sunday. They did have to cap our queue today. Mm. Um, because uh, too many people turned up. So if you definitely want to meet us, um, maybe get Show early. early -ish, yeah. Yeah. Um, you may have to wait for a while, sorry, but that's just the way that it w works with these things. Mm. Um, but we would hate for people to really want to see us and not mm. be able to make things thank you. And yeah. we're going to have to run to the airport afterwards. We're going so straight to the airport. Yeah. Not, we, we ran over by like 45 minutes today, but we won't be able to run over on Sunday. No, because, because we've got to get a yeah. flight. Yeah. So um, yeah, fingers crossed. Oh, hey, Snowblossom says, I'm so glad you love the cross stitch and thank hey, you for the get well wishes. Oh, cool, yeah. I hope you're feeling better. So that, this is Snow Blossom. There you Snowblossom's go. work right here. Thank you so Either much. Either that or an yeah. imposter trying to oh, claim no. credit for, for Snowblossom's excellent work. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it's legit. I hope you feel yeah. better to see. <laughs> it's that jet lag talking. Yeah. Don't, don't worry. Uh, Mariah Stewart wants to know how tall we all are. Uh, are you fitting me for a suit? <laughs> uh, What's your in seat? <laughs> That's extremely personal information. I'm 5'7". 5'11"-ish? Uh, uh, yeah, 5'11"-ish. So. About that. Uh, Luke's so about six foot ten. Yeah, he's not, he's not that tall. <laughs> Strictly one Becker says, "So glad I got to PAX last night. I'm a teacher in Boston and still had to go teach sixteen-year-olds this morning, but it was so worth it. You're all fantastic. Oh, man. nice. Oh man, thank that, you for coming. Yeah, yeah glad you really enjoyed appreciate, it all. Appreciate yeah, you good luck out. teaching those sixteen-year-olds. Yeah, uh, you're doing good work. Teach them how long to set. I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not going to spoil it. Some yeah. things happened. Mistakes well, some, were made. Oh. Some people have seen it. It was on Twitch." That's true, yeah. I suppose it's, it is somewhat in the public, public yeah. record, but I, won't, I don't want to spoil anything. Yeah. There, are, there are probably people that are waiting to see yeah, it on the channel, to see on the actual channel. kind of like yeah. polish it up, you know, make it nice, yeah. put um, some music on it, that kind of thing. Yeah, Ella Thompson says, Bumba can't go to any of the live shows due to living in the middle of nowhere, but I still support however I can. Oh, oh thanks, thank Ella. You. Really nice thank you for your support. Um, what else we got here? Oh, yeah, the, hand, the <laughs> handshake, <laughs> high five, hug kind of question. Nice. That's a good question. Uh, Philip Prue says, uh, are you guys ever going to come to Chicago? I'd like to, yeah. It seems like a pretty cool town. It's You've great. Been, been across there I, yeah, before? Luke and I were there like yeah. last month. Uh, it was extremely cold. I, I you know what? Chicago. Star Wars Celebration is in Chicago this year. Soon though, isn't it? Is it like, isn't it April? All right. So you're saying if I get on the on the blower to JJ. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, to JJ. Yeah. Um, <laughs> JJ sends the we'll plane. We'll just stay in America. Just overstay. You're welcome. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> immigration because isn't watching. Yeah. yeah, it's a very cool city, Chicago. Yeah, yeah. it looks good. I, I want to try a deep to. dish. I love pizza so much. I really want to try like a deep dish Chicago pizza. I've never had one. Makes a lot, lot of his um, travel decisions based, based on based what's the local cheese sort of dish pizza. variant. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and Mesification says, so what's the weirdest thing each of you have noticed about being here in the USA versus home? I'm so happy you guys are here. Okay. Public toilets where there's oh, like wow, yeah. a, a, gap in the a door. quarter inch gap 
between in the cubicle. The What's that about? Door, like the door and, and the, what is that about? And the, the sort of pillar. Um, and I know people can't see you through it, but you can see people walking past them. Well, if you can see them, it's very unnerving. They can see you, right? Yeah, I, I think it's because you're stationary and you're kind of sat quite close to it. But like Maybe. someone who's walking across the other side of the room can't, you know. Yeah. I I just yeah, yeah makes me nervous. <laughs> I mean that is yeah that is a good that's a good one. Um, there's probably better less bathroom related ones. Oh, um, the thing about uh, in bars when you order a like a spirit and a mixer and it'll they'll just free pour mm. the spirit and it'll be literally three quarters alcohol and then a little a little top off of diet coke on that. Wait, you saying you, you don't understand it or you don't like it? No, I'm just saying uh, that's, I'm not that's complaining. A diff, that's a big difference. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, to be like, fair, like that whiskey I had with Johnny last night, that was clearly a good whiskey because they, he very carefully measured yeah, it out. Yeah, he wasn't yeah. like la 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 la. No, it was like every drop of that was precious. Uh, Shane Brimson says, do you guys like Japanese snacks? I'm hoping to bring some to EGX for you. Yes, ah. we do. Thank you. Always. Uh, also, any chance of Jane doing a Claire run in Resident Evil when Andy's done? Uh-oh. Mm. So you playing as Claire. Yeah. In the Am second, I ready? Second run. Do you think I've learned enough? At the, at the learning tree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, I don't know. What do you think? I, I think I, I would like to. Yeah. Maybe take a little breather from mm. Resident Evil and then come back to it and do the the Claire scenario because when you finish the um, that scenario we'll get a different ending yeah like a more complete proper ending uh, for for that second scenario right? yeah you get so the, the real final boss I find it really aggravating yeah where you finish something but they're like oh, do nice it all try, again but that wasn't re- not even do, do it all again but like for some reason because you haven't completed yeah. every little thing that wasn't the real ending like, like, what oh, I like oh, to do in that circumstance is go to YouTube, and YouTube. Watch the, I feel like I've done yeah. my bit and I'm like right I'm yeah. going to go watch like, it. Right, yeah yes. when Arkham Knight was like now we'll do, do all this to unlock yeah. the nightfall no, ending I watched the nightfall ending on YouTube yeah exactly yeah. Okay. now search this on YouTube yeah. to experience the nightfall ending Valkyrie Happy says Kitty Faith he wants to know if Mike is going to be racing anytime soon are you sure this isn't a John Realman question? Yeah. <laughs> uh, still trying to put something together. It's difficult. Uh, I think particularly with all the kind of Brexit uncertainty and stuff, like sponsors are being careful with their money, oh. but the, there are some options that, like, that might might come to fruition. We'll see. Oh, I'd okay. like to be out in the car. Well, Someone did get you a NASCAR hat. They did, yeah, which, which is, is almost halfway as there. Good, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Human Debris um, has a related question. Mike, what engine slash trans set up in your race car? Uh, it is a one point six litre Ford Z Tech engine, uh, naturally aspirated and Gotta have a one point six. Oh yeah, I think it's one point six. It's either one point six or one point eight. Oh no, um, you want the one point six. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> And it's a five-speed manual gearbox, yeah. out straight out Thanks, of a. Sweat. <laughs> Did he consider the the six? Because no, you don't really need it. Yeah. I don't even get. It don't even get so to I fifth. Think, I think the fifth, just four, five. Four, the basic. Why? Well, I mean, four is good <laughs> as well. I'm sorry, we're doing. Um, I drank 1.6 liters of Diet Coke today, probably. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's a, an MX5 gearbox. It's really fun to use, and it, it makes about 135 horsepower. Oh, yeah, yeah, you've got to get the MX5. Yeah. So are, you, are we still calling for sponsors? <laughs> If you like. <laughs> um, Adam Fillion says, D&D was amazing last night. Had tears in my eyes Aww. of happiness. I hope that wasn't, yeah, amazingly bad. Please come bad. back and do more in the yeah. States. Well, it was quite, there were some big emotional lurches. <laughs> it, like, it, it swung yep. wildly around in like town us. <laughs> yeah. last night. Which like was, us, it shambled wildly. Yeah. Yeah. Lurched from side to side. From uh, extremes. And then fell asleep, placed yeah. down on the floor. <laughs> Annika Brock says, I wanted to try to get the packs, but I had to get my new tattoo finished today. I'll see you at Res, though. Oh, so fair. Bring that tattoo with you. I yeah. guess you have to. Yeah, <laughs> yes. uh, yeah. Res is going to be great. That's next weekend. Wow, amazing. Mm. Yeah. Just, just uh, trying to get my I hair can't out. Be- Yeah. Can it's Friday believe? today. That will this be time next week, us. we will be, it can't be only Friday, slap bang probably. in the middle of EGX mm. Res. Wow. Yeah. Get ready for our first live show. Others, well, not the other side of the world, but some Part distance away. away. Uh, yeah. Aaron Simmons says, what's your favourite YouTube channel book movie? All right, quick. Don't um, overthink it. Oh, crikey. Gosh, what a Defunct Land, I've already talked about, but it's an excellent YouTube channel. All right, book. Um, book, oh, gosh. Um, Carter Beats the Devil. Mm-hmm, maybe. Uh, movie. Oh, my God. Evil Dead 2. <laughs> All right, that's good. That's good. Favourite questions are hard. They are really tough. I like you so just much stuff. You made me stuff. do it. Yeah. yeah, that's why I made you yeah. do it. <laughs> All right. Uh, Kuba Mezwa says, first time doing this donation thing, it was my 18th birthday recently. I would like to thank you guys for the last two and a half years. You oh. never failed to put a smile on my face. Oh, Thanks. Thank, thank you. you. Happy birthday. You put a smile on our face. Thank yeah. you very much, Kuba. What well, a good birthday. Yeah. Uh, Patrick Long says, the older levels in Hitman 2 have foliage you can hide in now as well as updated lighting. Oh, mm. so the ones from Hitman no yeah. Way. You can play the ones. Yeah. Would you be willing to stream Hitman 2 sometime? Yeah, we oh. should go back and do some of the ones from the 
Uh, yeah, we game. could do. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, we, we always like streaming Hitman too. So we have done some recently. They've added foliage, or like where there was foliage. Yeah. Now also, kind of the other thing is that mirrors all now work in the old levels ah. as well. So, like some of the stuff you could get away with, like in Hokkaido, where you go into the bathroom. Yeah, and you yeah, you can't do that anymore. Uh, That's really interesting. It's a bit more tricky. Cool. But cool. they're still the same. Yeah, yeah, levels, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, interesting. Um, Carl Obsidian says, it's my birthday on Saturday and I live in London and I forgot to get a Res D&D ticket. Oh, no. Oh, man. Uh, will you be doing a meetup that day? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there'll be meet and greets. Pretty much every day. There yeah. are every day, so. Yeah, so you can come on to that. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and it, again, it'll go on to um, huh? YouTube at some point. And yes. also, there are, I think there are still a few Friday tickets left. Maybe uh, in the future we could, um, we could do some, like, uh, like standby tickets or, y- uh, do you know what I mean? Like, return- I thought you were going to say in-character D&D meetup. <laughs> I mean, we could do that as well. I mean, that sounds hard. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was I saying, if, stay if, we, if we held back um, a, a, a few tickets, then uh, people who arrived like nice and early on the day mm. could like pick them up and, and yeah. you know, it's all just give them the another pro- The problem with the tickets them. thing is that we are not in control of it. No, and even if we true. were in control of it, we wouldn't have any idea what we were doing. So uh, <laughs> it, it, we will look into that and yeah. what's possible, we'll, but we'll, it, we don't really know. We'll uh, uh, raise it as yep. an idea, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I like the idea that, that if there are just a handful of people that really missed out, they yeah. could, you know, yeah, that would some be, tickets on the day. Great. That'd be kind of nice, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, Libby Queen says my friend's at PAX East right now and got to meet you guys today so oh. you went without me hope you guys have a great time in Boston uh, thank, thank you, you. Yeah. so we think it's a bit you um, we may have signed something for you I don't know like yeah, sometimes no. people come up and say oh my friend can't be here but like yeah. uh, you know we can sign postcards so I don't know I don't want to spoil it I want to maybe I don't want to <laughs> yeah. guilt, I don't want to guilt trip your friend if they didn't do it yeah but, nice um, one too late you know, <laughs> but it's happened so you know uh, Beth Morton <laughs> says, crazy Friday night for me in the UK, watching this live stream curled up with my dog in a cup. Oh, How exciting. Nice. Hope you guys are having fun. That sounds like a I really nice Friday right evening. Now, oh God, I I've had a cup of tea up. since the flight over. Yeah, since the flight. Yeah. And that was not a proper cup of tea. No, it never is, is it, on an airline? Let's go find some tea. <laughs> tea. <laughs> Should have brought tea bags. <laughs> when, will I, when will I learn? I think Big Ellen, bag of your Ellen tea. always brings tea bags. So. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Boom Shakalaka says, hey guys, really enjoyed the panel. Andy was on RE Best Game. Surprised you didn't go with one of the RDRs or Resi 2. Yeah. I loved your argument for Phoenix Wright. How would the others answer the question? I was surprised that you didn't say Red Dead Redemption, actually. T- yeah, yeah, or Fallout 3, you, you're always a big fan of. Yeah, no, I love Fallout 3 as well. It was hard to choose. Um, and I, d- I think, like, the question, like, what's the best game of all time? Like, the, um, the, the guy on the panel was saying, it's, it's like, well, what do you mean by best? Do you mean, like, mm. my favourite one or the one I admire the most? Um, the so one in the that end, made the biggest impact on the industry. Yeah, I just wanted to talk about something interesting because yep. I, f- I felt like, I didn't know what anyone, anyone else was picking and I thought that yeah. probably Red Dead Redemption would come up and it didn't. So yeah, mm-hmm. sure, you weren't like empirically, scientifically proving what the best game of the last yeah. is. But I yeah. feel the same way about questions that ask what your favourite is because, yeah. mm. I mean, you couldn't have a, a huge amount of love for a, a number of games, but you love them in different ways, or there's mm. different things about them that you appreciate, and like sometimes you, you, you know, sometimes you want to play this one, sometimes you want to play this one. So yeah, I agreed a lot with what Eva said about Dark Souls. Dark Souls would definitely be a contender for that. Um, oh, she made a really strong yeah. case. Like, I'm not really a Dark Souls fan, mm. but listening to Eva talk about it, I'm like, I gotta get, I gotta get mm. on this. She, she's a really great advocate for yeah, yeah. Dark Souls because yeah. she was she's talking, thought about it so. Deeply, yeah, 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 right? and she's talking about how it. it it gets a bad rap. It's not as inaccessible mm. as everyone makes out, or, or the, the reputation that it's gotten. Yeah. And that is actually not a helpful reputation in many ways because it puts some people off and it makes other people a bit kind of gatekeepy about yeah. it. Yeah, um, yeah. The community, the community has its its elements that yeah. are like slightly like they don't want anyone else to be into it because <laughs> yeah. it, it's well, a badge of honor to be yeah. good at Dark Souls. And yeah. if it was less of a badge of honor, it would. It, I mean, that's part of the appeal yeah. to them of Dark Souls. But the panel made a really nice point about how it, it gets away with being so um, demanding. Yeah, um, because it's good. Stu- yeah, exactly, On, uh, because it is so um, so masterfully made. Yeah. And I'm like, I want to play a game that yeah. yeah. is masterfully made. Yeah. I'm just, I think the problem is a... It's, it takes a such commitment. I feel patience, like you need... Like a lot of patience. With Dark Souls, I think I've said this before, I think you need like a five hour block where mm, you sit down and learn. That's an issue for me. It. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, we're yeah. all so busy, it's really difficult to do. I, I think also it's about... Um, like intense focus, mm. because I can summon intense focus for, for not, not, not great periods yeah. of yeah, time. Yeah, you can't really be like checking Twitter no, and like watching the TV think, at the same time. Yeah, I think like, the, the, the kind of sort of, some of the games I play probably have encouraged a kind of more laid back, yeah. kind of lazy type of play. You can't even pause it 
Like it does not, like Dark Souls does not. Sekiro, right. you cancel, can pause, cancel which is that. like. Dark Souls is cancelled. <laughs> um, but what I was going to say was actually, I think yeah. story, story RPGs are probably the thing that have been most important to me in the last yeah. 20 years. And I think like Mass Effect, the first one was a really big thing for me. Mm. And also Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, which is why I'm Stick super excited. Yeah. yeah. So. I, the, the, all the nostalgia that's been floating around for that game mm. has made me remember how much I yeah. love it. And, and yeah. Oh, it's so good. Oh, man. I, ho- I really hope people embrace it because it's there's a lot of embracing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, the because uh, it, it was a kind of cult hit and didn't sell that well before, yeah. but was like h- really highly regarded. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and but it's it's a long time ago, so it's like, is that going to translate? Hopefully, people will find yeah. find it and be passionate about it, it. I mean, it was pretty janky in its own way. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, hilariously. Um, but it. Unlike Dark Souls, it really wants you to love it. Yeah, like, it's yeah. really lovable. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. yeah. But do you remember it was released with a game-breaking? Well, yeah, like the like only you way could you could play it, you, the only way you can really play it now is with the kind of constantly updating fan yeah, patch yeah, yeah. that makes it sort yeah. of but workable. When yeah. you bought a box copy of that game, if you tried to play it and complete it, it crashed. It's because uh, Troika, <laughs> the studio, time. went out of business yeah, yeah. like just after as they shipped it, as they were shipping it. Yeah, it was it. like they shipped it and then between them shipping it, yeah. it actually... It's so of, tragic. Yeah, it's hor- really horrible. Really tragic. I also wonder how the marketing for that game... I mean, not to get too industry about it, but how, mu- how much the marketing suffered yeah. because of troubles at the studio or like financial issues. I don't, I don't remember it. I, I wasn't that involved in the games industry at the time, mm. but um, I, I wonder how much better it could have done if the mm. studio was in a better place and the publisher had maybe like gone for it more. Yeah, it was Activision who published yeah. it. But it, it is a fun game to like advocate for. Yeah, so yeah. it's brilliant it, fun, and again, hugely ambitious, right? Yeah. Like, I don't mind if games kind of like miss the mark a bit if they're just trying really hard and yeah. trying to cram in loads of really interesting stuff which that game absolutely should have been, yeah. been on the panel should have been on the panel oh you should have been on the panel you did a good job wow yeah. Luke, um, Luke was, did a great job with Breath of the Wild as well. Max Littlewood is here at PAX right now. Oh. Didn't get a chance to meet you, was too full. I don't know if he means the queue was too full. He was too full. <laughs> 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 too full of busty beans. Uh, but I was at D&D yesterday. Hope you guys are having a great time. Thanks yeah. for coming along to, to D&D. Yeah. yeah, maybe you can make it to the Sunday meet and greet if you're yeah. still around. That'd be cool. And like um, I said, if you roam in the corridors and you hear our voices, then you just burst through the door, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kick in every door in PAX, yeah. Uh, Jay Gogo says, while I'm at work, uh, while I work, when I got the notification, boss, I'm definitely working right now. Okay, wish I could come to PAX and watch you guys live. Nice. Uh, don't get in trouble with your boss. Yes, also don't get <laughs> in trouble with your boss. Um, <laughs> hey, if your boss is watching on his yeah, own also computer watching elsewhere. elsewhere. Uh, Agent Santa 47 says, Hey guys, I was sick in the hospital for a while, but now I'm home to edit the wiki more. Can't wait to see the adventures. Is this the D&D wiki? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, cool. oh, sorry to hear you went well. Glad mm. to hear you're feeling better. And yes, the wiki is, is Keep great. Keep up the good work, wiki boss. Good job. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Nathan Lots Allen. of new info to add after oh, yeah. the yeah. next three you weeks. Have a real job. Yeah, a job of Remember work. those typing fingers are limber. So much, so many characters. Uh, Nathan Allen says, I loved D&D yesterday, I almost cried. Again, not sure. Good, happy cry, sad. Yeah, <laughs> it was all the onions <laughs> that yeah. we were, you know, Throwing chopping around. Yeah. Uh, I love that you guys are doing meetups and stuff, but I hope you have time to actually see some games. Yeah, I hope so too. It seems <laughs> unlikely, but maybe. Maybe. The uh, tabletop area is so cool and inviting yeah. and chill looking. It would be really fun to go and just like borrow a tabletop game yep. from that. There's this vast like library, like lending library of tabletop mm. games, and just grab one of those and like sit because that the, the the tabletop area is open till midnight, so mm. you could be playing like. It's a really cool thing, yeah. Here. So the, the show floor itself closes at is it like eight or something like that? Uh, six. six or eight. Six, yeah. Like the 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 whole the main bit with all the main, games, yeah. but then yeah, all all the sort of ancillary stuff like the I think the retro stuff stays open till yep, like dance stage, the dance stage, yeah, yeah. all that stuff. So you can conceivably yeah. be a pax just hanging out with your friends yeah. until until midnight. Mm. Mm. Um, okay, so who have we got? Uh, Dhruv Raj Vanshi says, Andy, could you recommend some history books? Uh, there is a, a really good series of history books called the Time Traveler's Guide to. Um, like medieval England, Elizabethan England, and they're written at, from a sort of first-person perspective of what someone would experience going to those times and like walking around the place, nice. like if they were a time traveller. It's like, all right, you're in an Elizabethan town. This is what you smell. This is what you see. This mm. is what's going on. And they're written in a really sort of vivid first-person way. That's cool. Uh, which helps sort of bring those periods to life. So I can definitely recommend that series. Nice. Uh, those are great. Uh, Austin Curitan says, so sad I couldn't make it, but if you guys are ever down in Texas way, specifically Dallas, Fort Worth area, I'd love to meet you. <laughs> I'd be a bit nervous, but I definitely love it. 
That's cool. Um, I'd like to visit Texas. Yeah, I'm Dallas. Right. I've been to Dallas. Mm-hmm. It's a cool, cool city. Um, I've uh, had some really good barbecue at Pecan Lodge. Oh. You know, shout out to Pecan Lodge <laughs> in Dallas. Um, Matthias Tillman says, I was recently diagnosed with AST. I'm 29. I just want to show my appreciation. You never failed to cheer me up. Uh, what you do really does matter. Never forget that. Much love to the whole OX team and community. Thanks. Yeah, Thank sorry you. to hear that, Matthias. Yeah. And I hope, you know, hope you're able to manage it and, and things. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Greg Higgins says, while you're in the States, can you swing by Pittsburgh and help me beat Sekiro? I don't think <laughs> we can help I him. can't, yeah, no. Has anyone beaten Sekiro? I don't think so. I think it's unwinnable. Luke's I don't think they made Luke's an end. Luke's doing okay. Yeah. Ethers, Ethers doing well, I don't yeah, what, no, if, what if they just didn't make the end of that game and no one's, no one's realised it yet? <laughs> that would be like the ultimate. <laughs> they, they're like, the ultimate we're going to patch in the last yeah, quarter in a few months. We've got till October to get <laughs> to the end of the game. Yeah, I've, sure. I've actually been playing some of it. Really? Yeah, I really like it, but it's that it's that focus issue, yeah. like that concentration. I'm like, man, my, my sort of focus muscles have atrophied mm, yeah. because like, I can summon the, 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 the focus to, have to give a boss a really good go, but, never but then I can, I can feel that that kind of focus is slipping and like, obviously that's just going to make it worse and worse, whereas mm. the idea is that you're going to get incrementally better, yep. but at the same time my focus is like <laughs> slipping away. So, yeah. I, I, and, and also when I say focus, I also, I guess I would bundle that in with like um, the kind of the, the really fast like twitch reflex yeah. like to watch and react with almost zero kind yeah, of you have delay. to be fully engaged yeah, with what really you're doing. engaged and um, I think that's that's a, a, a really important mm. skill that I have, have not got well, if you press on with it I think you might find that yeah. you then you go, could play Dark yeah. Souls and, and you'd have the some of the basic yeah. sort of skills to I'm starting to get the taste though like I, r- I really understand like where Why that games passion people, yeah. comes from because mm. Like even the smallest of victories is like the That's best right. victory yeah, you've like ever pumping, had. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dennis Hayden says, "I just learned about an animated Adams Family movie. Were you all aware of this, and how excited were you?" <laughs> and why didn't you tell it. me? It's the one um, Oscar Isaac, Oscar is Isaac it, right? Gomez, nice. which again is amazing casting, even like for a live action movie mm. as well. So please, someone make that with Oscar Isaac as Gomez. That would be great. Uh, the year says, how are you doing, guys? I hope you're having fun in the US. Just want to say I love the GTA series and wonder if it's going to return or perhaps, you know, some Red Dead Redemption 2 adventures. Well, both know. possibilities. Are we ready for a 100-hour Let's Play series? <laughs> I am. I keep saying let's do it. And I he's like, let's shut it. down the channel and, and just, just do, do Red Dead Redemption. Yeah. Oh, it would be fun. Um, speaking of things that, that are relevant to your interests, Andy, yes. you know the Jordan Peele Twilight Zone starts really soon. I do. Mm. Like Next premieres in the, U- in the US. So Next few days? Mm-hmm. Next I think so, days. yeah. yeah. So uh, I've seen some trailers and they read some Peele. reviews, like a yeah. little bit mixed, but it oh, sounds really? like it'll be fun. I love the Twilight Zone. Jordan Peele is a genius. Yeah. It's, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm hype. Yeah, you guys need to see us as well. Right? Yes. As soon as possible so we yes. can talk about that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Michael Schmidt said, oh, speaking of what we were just talking about, what? Michael Schmidt says, really glad to hear a lot of people showing up. You guys breathe positivity and cheer. Managed to beat Sekiro today. What? Died at least 40 times to the final boss. 40 times. Wow. But someone has beaten Hats Sekiro off. and it's yeah. Michael Schmidt. So well Man. done. Man. Oh my God. You must, work. you must feel amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, John Sharpman says, I would just like us all to take a moment and recognise Queen Jane's crown edition on the autographs today. All hail. Also a shout out to the community. It was just as great to meet fellow viewers. Were you drawing a crown on all of I, uh, Do you know what? I, horns, I think I, only, crowns, I, think I drew um, some like prudence horns yeah. on a few. Yeah. And I think I put like a, a little crown on some nice. of them. I put an eye so, patch on one. So today. everyone <laughs> so, got something a little bit different. Yeah. So. If you got the one with the eye patch, that's yeah, yeah single edition. Uh, Noah says, can't say, but I'm studying abroad this fall in Brighton, currently in North Dakota. So I was wondering if you guys have any general tips info about the area. Hope Brighton's great. A growth good time yeah, you went I to went to university there. It's yeah. a really cool town. Does, sp- that, does that mean he'll be studying at your university in Perhaps. Brighton? University Maybe? Sussex. I went to Maybe? Sussex, so, yeah. uh, but there's a University of Brighton yeah. as well, so it could oh, be that. Oh, right, right, right. Um, nice town, though. Yeah, great. It's, it, it's got loads and loads of great shops great restaurants it's got the beach which is wonderful uh, in autumn it might be a bit cold in the fall um but there's there's so much to do and yeah. you know great bars and yeah it's really beautiful quite trendy yeah, yeah. it's very it's yeah, cool. you have a good time uh, there's a loading bar in brighton as well. there oh. is also a loading bar yes our our, uh, our usual live stream host uh, loading bar has a, a, a place just on the beach yeah which yeah. i've not visited yet but it looks amazing. well we should go there in the summer when they yeah. open it out onto the beach yes and, yeah. yeah it's called sea side quest but it's but c, c colon, colon backslash side quest so it's very it's clever yeah. commitment uh yeah. tcap says I actually get to watch one of these live due to time zone difference so yeah the, we might be getting people here who <laughs> we haven't seen ordinarily before. hey yeah. welcome cool. Hello. first stream uh what in-game location would host the best gaming conference Ooh, that's a good Ooh. question Game, oh, what 
you need this, oh, like, the Citadel. Citadel. Yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah, course. so it would be like... The meeting the, point for the entire galaxy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, and, and it would be on the inside of the kind of... Uh, the cylindrical kind yeah, of strip. Yeah, the, the presidium. Yeah, yeah, because that's not the presidium, that's it. Yeah. So it's not, because the citadel is huge, 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 mm. huge. But the, the most important part is the, that, that bit. Yeah. And then afterwards, we can all go to like a banging nightclub yeah. because there's tons of them on the <laughs> yeah. citadel. Yeah. Uh, Valkyrie Epic says if you guys ever do Steel City Con in Pittsburgh, I could bring Kitty Beatty to meet her hero. Sounds, sounds badass. Yeah. I don't know what it's about, yeah. but it sounds great. Yeah. Well, I assume I mean, it's like a Comic Con. Yeah. Yeah. Like a Pittsburgh is Steel City. Yes, yeah. I know, yeah, yeah, but it's just Steel City Con sounds yeah. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Mason Woods asks, what's everyone's favourite drink? Uh, the boozy drink? Or? I, it doesn't say. Non-boozy is probably tea. Diet Coke. Um, I like an exotic isotope of Diet Coke. Yeah. Oh, they've got, um, what have they got over here? Orange, Orange, Orange vanilla. vanilla. That got is a crime. Why, why would you ruin it's vanilla, delicious. Why would you ruin it's vanilla Coke it's with delicious. orange? It's like someone melted a dreamsicle in yeah. a Diet oh, Coke. It's, it's real. And it's exactly as delicious as that um, sounds. Boozy, uh, I think my favourite beer is Leper, which is a Belgian beer. It's about 6%, so drink it in moderation, but it's delicious. Uh, and cocktail-wise, I like a Singapore sling. It's my favourite. In case you're ever buying like a Yeah, drink. I mean, you feel free to. Uh, <laughs> new member, welcome Justin M. Hey, Thank Justin. For joining. Thanks for joining. Uh, Fatboy8683PSN. 80, 86, <laughs> you know this isn't Good. PSN. <laughs> it says, it's my first stream. I just wanted to say you're my favourite YouTubers and I love the channel. Oh. Thank you so much for joining welcome. us. Welcome. Um, Thank and you. Thanks for catching yeah. the stream. Oh, Matthias Silman with a correction. ASD, uh, even, or autism. But for some reason, YouTube blocks that word. Oh, oh wow. Okay. I oh, see. YouTube blocks that word. Huh. That's strange. Huh. Uh, huh. Well, um, yeah, best of luck with managing that. That's... Yeah. Uh, it's going to be challenging. But yeah, um, shout out to you, yeah. my guys. Hope we can help. In yeah, we're here for you. Like, yeah. if it all gets a bit much, come hang out with us on live streams, basically. Yeah. Uh, donation from David DT, thank you very much. And Nick Jeffrey thank you. says, next time you go to an overseas show, I insist that you smuggle <laughs> me along in your luggage. Me and my new t-shirt. We'll see you next week. Nice. Mm. I assume that's one of our t-shirts. You insist. Or just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Red Dead reference. It's the, the new t-shirt is just a plain t-shirt, plain white t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a new t-shirt and everyone's going to see it. Uh, George Edwards says, do you think you'll ever come to MCM Manchester? Yes. That seems know, maybe. plausible. But yeah, it seems possible. Seems, yeah, seems likely. I mean, we did uh, MCM Birmingham, yep. and yeah. uh, that, it went people pretty showed well. Up. Yeah. So and as long as people keep showing up, probably there's a chance we That's can come true, to That's true, actually. Yeah. Yeah. If, any, if, it, if we, any time no one turns yeah, up, that will that'll that'll like, jeopardise the, yeah. the future of <laughs> live shows. Yeah, so as long as you guys yeah. keep showing up. Uh, Jay Palmer says, hey guys, I've been watching you since almost the beginning. 2014. Oh. Uh, you guys need to do PAX West so I can attend, spend some time in the beautiful Northwest. I would love. We to would like to do PAX yeah, West. Yeah, I really. Uh, the, the Northwest is really calling us of late. Mm, like, yeah. yeah. Um, I can't believe. Also, speaking of uh, since 2014, which is. What yeah, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was, it was, the channel's been around for like six, seven years. We started in 2012. Mid, yeah. Mid 2012. I find that so weird. Yeah. Like, really weird. It's the longest job I've ever well, held. I out. know, and it, it doesn't feel like anyone's longest job ever should be YouTube. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It feels like no one should have been working on YouTube for more than a year, yeah. two years tops. Yeah. So. I think the Unsung Xbox channel was actually... Um, oh, it looks made, like it was, it was made, made in, in 2009, 2009 by someone else who mm. didn't put any videos up, and then we were like, can we have that name? And so YouTube gave it to us, but it looks like we started in 2012. Yeah. Oh. But like 2012 was Maybe our one first day we'll video. meet the, orig the originator of Outside yeah. Xbox. Like our nemesis. Yeah. <laughs> like coming on like a giant robot suit and kick the door in and try and kill us. Hey, see, SEAL Team Rick is here yeah. saying, Andy and Mike mentioned in a previous stream they'd been to Wisconsin. I was just wondering what brought you here. Mm, well, you to say? <laughs> yeah, no, I can. Yeah. Uh, that cop's what, mission. What brought me there was... I just uh, wanted to see the bronze ones. That's, <laughs> That's the only reason. Yeah. Uh, I was there to see uh, three games, one of which was Wolfenstein, but like when they rebooted it. Uh, oh, yeah. One of which was uh, really Singularity. Do you remember that? Oh, Singularity. Yes. Yeah, with yeah. the time oh, manipulation. That was, that was like yeah. a real fun, like B movie kind of game. And uh, Xbox Oranges Wolverine. Oh. Uh, Xbox X Men, X -Men oranges. oranges. Again, another like kind of fun Origins, B tier yeah, I like game, that. right? Yeah, yeah. So they were all made by Raven, um, yeah. who are based in Wisconsin, Madison huh. sort of place. Huh. And I was over there covering them for uh, official Xbox magazine. The editor of which is over there, I can, or the former editor, is behind is the camera. The guy who right? sent me to Wisconsin is yeah. sitting yeah. over there. <laughs> so uh, that, you've got him to thank. I've got a lot of friends <laughs> who play for the uh, London Roller Girls Roller Derby team. Sticker, wait, this side, uh, there. Uh, and they were playing a roller derby tournament in uh, Milwaukee. Hmm. So I went out to hmm. watch. Um, oh, so you were, you were separately in Wisconsin? You, you guys? Yeah, yeah we, we, went, we went there in the same ah, time. Right. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, Evan Sheeran uh, donates. Thank you very much. Thanks, Evan. Yay. And also says, one of my favourite esoteric series is the Stalker series. Are yes. there any of you fans and do you think it deserves a remake? Yes, uh, I believe they've just announced Stalker 2. Like, yeah. I saw that on Twitter. Like what, today? No, yeah, like in the last 24 hours. Oh, wow. Uh, Sounds feasible. There was a, I saw a logo. That's all I've seen so far. Yeah. Uh, so maybe not a remake, but uh, a sequel yeah, yeah. would be good. Kind of in the way that the, the, the Metro, recent Metro sequel feels mm. more kind of accessible and feels like it's yeah. reached out to a more kind of mainstream audience. Maybe Stalker will go, go the same way. Yeah. Uh, but it's ama- amazingly bleak, and if you've got any interest in the, the real sort of Chernobyl exclusion mm. zone and, and how mm. sort of overgrown and you know reclaimed by nature it is, uh, stalker games allow you to wander around looking at it without getting a terrible, terrible dose of radiation. Speaking of amazingly bleak, have you seen that uh, Pathologic 2? Pathologic 2 is, is on the show floor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I haven't had a chance to play it, but it's coming out in May, I think. Yes, yeah, quite, quite soon. Um, yeah. On PC. Yeah, so if you love bleak stuff. And I do. <laughs> um, yeah, Pathologic 2 will be really good fun. Yeah. We'll either play it. Um, I actually kickstarted that. Like oh. started so we've too. got Mike to thank. So we're getting an Xbox code at some point from that. Nice. Um, so we should play that. Maybe yeah. it'll make it to Xbox in time. How yeah. stream? We've occasionally written about Pathologic for, mm. for various videos on the channel. It's very or idiosyncratic. I, I feel stuff. like maybe Mike has written about it and then and then I've been trying to source footage about it. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, I I have no idea I've what's happening. Literally no yeah, idea. Yeah, because it is all the um, yeah, all the guys in the bird masks and stuff, and you were like, what, are these I mean, the that, guys? that is almost the yeah. most graspable thing yeah, about it. Yeah. Like, what's go- you go into a building and there's like weird hive. Yeah, pop- so pods, yeah. In, the, in the first game, the, it's the, like a mad fever dream. Yeah, basically, there's a plague that's hit right. the town, but it's infecting the town itself, okay. as if the town is like a living organism. Okay. It's like real weird stuff, yeah. but it's great. Uh, Vixen Quinn says, Thank you guys for the awesome content you produce, and I, knew, I know it means so much to so many. Any indie game recommendations? Fez is great. Yeah. Are uh, we going I, all over like the history? Yeah, the entire history of indie games. Indie okay. games. Uh, well, Super Night in the Woods. Yeah. Um, they've got After Party, that game that we were talking about. Oh, video, yeah. Um, down we, I mean, we here. haven't played it yet. So no, but I want to check it out. We yeah. did a video recently about interesting upcoming indie Smaller games. Smaller games, yeah. Oh, um, that's true. So, so check it out. It's on the yeah, channel. I want to check that out. Oh, speaking of, um, next week at EGX Resed, uh, Cake Bash is going to be there. Nice. Yeah, Cake Bash. Cake Bash we mentioned that in the video, so we should play some of that. Uh, Benjamin McRae says, I've been raising a kid on OX for almost two years now. Oh. My wife and I literally watch old Xmas challenge vids in the delivery room, and we've had you up on the TV no. since. Wow, so that's nice. amazing. Wow. We'll let you know how it goes. Oh, okay. <laughs> So that okay. baby's first YouTube video was uh, probably an Ox video yeah. then, right. it, as we, it was born. I, yes. uh, outside Xbox Industries accepts no responsibility for any <laughs> child raised Where are they videos. based? They're based in the US, so I'm hoping that the child is going to be raised with an English accent, even though they're not... That would be good. Uh, yeah. An not inexplicable French. English accent. That would be really good, and they'll sound so sophisticated. Uh, Adrianicus127 <laughs> says, love you guys, if you'd like someone to paint some minis for you, I'd be more than happy to. I'm like a car, mini car. Services are your, regardless. Like miniatures, yeah. 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 right? Okay. Yeah, like D&D miniatures. Uh, Cool. I tried that like once or twice when I was a kid, and I'm just far too ham fisted. Johnny's good impatient. at it. Johnny's, yeah, Johnny's, Johnny's incredible. Johnny's I think Johnny finds it quite calming as a sort mm-hmm. of, you know, because um, I think Johnny's talked quite openly about sort of mental health things, and I think he finds the, the sort yeah. of painting miniatures as a very calming, sort of soothing thing. You'll clear so. your mind and yeah. really focus. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, it's like, like painting miniature portraits, you know, mm, when someone uses yeah. a single hair to draw. But when you see it like with all the shading and everything, it's yeah. really, yeah. really impressive. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Firecrow100 says, did Luke get you guys into pub? Has he heard the new songs yet? If so, what does he think? What do you guys think of them? I haven't heard any pub. Luke I was in to. a pub music video. Yeah, 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 Luke, yeah Luke obviously has heard the new stuff because he, I think he's in their most recent yeah. music video playing the piano. So it's a really good idea for a video. It's like, here are the chords and the words mm. to our new song, but you, you play it do the way cover. you think like it should be played yeah. um, without having heard the actual song. I think we said at the time like a sort of tribute to that feeder video. Yeah, oh, just today, yeah. 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 That's what cool. A, what a great video. I might, I might do my own version of that having not heard the song um, just to see what it sounds like. Oh. I think it's a really interesting experiment. It is, mm. yeah. Uh, the Castaway DC says, looking forward to seeing you at Rezd again. Last year I was jet lagged as I just got back from Vietnam, but I guess it's your turn this year. That's true. <laughs> That's yeah, we true. will be just about shaking off the jet lag. Oh no, then. I hadn't even thought about that because jet lag is worse when you go from. Uh, yeah, it's West brutal East. going from oh, here to. But no. we're East Coast, so it's only like four yeah, or five hours. It's not like. Right. It's not like coming from LA. Yeah, where it's like and it's not until Thursday, so yeah. got we'll time okay. to like re re Let's probably. just really like set up a really good schedule of nap times. <laughs> yeah, just uh, mandatory nap eat times. clean, sleep regularly. We'll be fine. Yeah, nap yeah. often. Yeah. yeah, eat clean, sleep dirty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Reckless Rex says. Can that be the new T-shirt? <laughs> yeah. 
Rake says, Rake says, I can't get a raised either, but I feel a bit better about it because Lazy Jane said she'd represent me in the meet and greets. Come to Pax Unplugged, though, please, so I can also meet you 100% IRL. Yeah, yeah. Like Pax Unplugged, that'd be cool. Wait, I'm not, you can't see this. All right. 100% IRL. Must oh, yeah. Sweatshirt yeah. says. We have a t shirt. Pax Unplugged, yes, I am fully behind that mm. idea. Uh, but also, someone make a mental note of eat, clean, sleep, dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta remember that. <laughs> someone bookmark that. Uh, Neb the Drunk says, love the whole outside Xbox crew even more than the inside Xbox days. Love you all. Was thinking about the 360 days and got me thinking, what happened to your old co-host, Andy? Did you kill him? You did. Uh, I did not kill you him. You did. <laughs> My lawyer no. needs me to state. Yeah. Uh, no, clearly he, he he's see. still alive. He runs a video production company mm -hmm. in London, but I don't think he does any uh, like public facing stuff anymore. Public he was presenting a show on Challenge yeah. TV. For and a he's while. still somewhat in the games industry space, but his yeah. video company makes uh, work for clients and not all. Yeah, they do like stuff right? for PlayStation. Yeah, motorsport yeah. stuff as well. Ah. Um, Finrod Finra says, hey guys, my horse just died in RDR2. Any good name suggestions for my new one? Oh, well, I'm so oh, sorry. Mm. Him for, yeah, your horse. Maybe yeah. what the old one, one was, then 2.0. Yeah. <laughs> it's not very creative, but it's fun. Yeah. Uh, it's like horse mine. names. What, what, like, do we want pun horse names or do we want like... I think that's probably the suggestion. Oh. Yeah, that's what they're after. I really like the... Um, so everyone's J. Horse. Edgar Hoofer. That's yeah, really I mean, good. That's <laughs> I, well, I was about to go off on one about how, you know, the gang in, in RDR2, like, they name their horses various mm. things. And so they're really cool. Some of them are, like, classical references, mm. and some of them are just fun names. And None oh, of what's them the one where there. Arthur is, like... Um, oh, Hosea says to... Hosea? Hosea. Hosea, sorry, says to Arthur, like, when are you going to get get a new better horse oh yeah and Arthur's like oh I miss Bodicea Bodicea what a great name for a horse mm. yeah and so they've all got cool names yeah but um oh I called one of my horses Juno because that that felt like a, like, a good good. Class, like in the same vein as Bodicea mm. yeah Juno Jupiter uh, who is Atlas 802 says what do you guys do to wind down I imagine video game fatigue is pretty strong with games media I think the great thing about what we do is that it video games are designed to be fun so they're always kind of fun so i think we still play a fair amount of video games even yeah. even to unwind um but i think i don't watch a ton of video game youtube because we make it so i watch a lot of car youtube stuff um mm. and, uh, and mm. fantasize about having a sports car mm. <laughs> another sports car <laughs> the, the the only only drawback and I, there's only one single drawback of video games is that you can't eat while you're playing them not really. You're not trying hard enough. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that's when I watch Netflix or Net something. Bad Netflix. Yeah. Bad is, Netflix. Yeah. Is, yeah. I, I enjoy the the low pressure. It's, well. The low pressure vibe of watching something that you know is going to be bad. Yeah. Because if you watch something you think is going to be good and then you don't enjoy it, you're like maybe it's me. Or this leads maybe so I'm perfectly. just disappointed mm. that it wasn't as good as it should have been. This leads so perfectly into this next question, which mm. is from Julian Mitchell, who says, Love you guys, what's your favourite bad movie? Shark Attack 3 Megalodon, oh. starring John Barrowman. That came so easy. It's so, it's, so the, like, not to get too tech into bad movies, but the problem with bad movies is when they're boring. Yeah. Like, if a bad movie is boring, then it just, it's tedious. But if a bad movie is, like, consistently, hilariously bad, which Shark Attack mm. 3 Megalodon is, mm. then it's brilliant, and it's more entertaining than an extremely yeah. well-written comedy. Um, and that film is that. Troll 2. Troll uh, 2 is pretty movie. hilarious. Yeah, that's, um, uh, there's a new one I want to see called Jurassic Galaxy. Oh, wow. Yeah, so we watched that Jurassic that, Games yeah. film, yeah, which was, like, 100 games, games with dinosaurs. Right. This one's, like, a, they crash onto a planet, and it's full of dinosaurs. It looks so bad. I saw the DVD in the supermarket, wow. and I should have picked it up. Oh man, I don't, I don't really have a favourite favourite like bad movie because for me it's, the point is that they're so throwaway that you can immediately forget mm. them and you know, uh, Anthony, I don't remember any of them. <laughs> Anthony Quan is here saying, favourite brand for tea, I really enjoy Barry's which I believe is Irish. Yorkshire tea. Yorkshire, Yorkshire tea is good for Yorkshire a strong gold. cup of tea. Yeah, that's... I, I do like a pyramid solid. bag though, PG mm. Tips for the pyramid bag. I, when they start, I can't remember when they started doing pyramid bags. Everyone was like, what a gimmick, yeah. no one needs a pyramidal bag. Uh, but yeah, Yorkshire Gold, that's a good one. Shout okay. Out. Uh, Cull Obsidian says some wiki channels that have finished Sekiro multiple times they've slept even less than you I'm even more scared of Eldritch Blast after last night mm. yeah, Eldritch really? Blast. yeah Eldritch Blast is it did, yeah, it, did, it made some real it made a real mess last night <laughs> you'll see yeah. if you haven't seen it you'll yeah. see uh, also asks hyped for Bill and Ted 3 I am Anything yes. with Keanu Reeves, basically. Yes, although it's weird. Yeah. It is so weird. I, I want to have a faith that they'll they'll find a way to do it that's kind of knowing. And yeah. yeah, I'm sure they will. And like, yeah, fun and funny and knowing, not 
deeply tragic. I guess you know, like the tragedy of yeah. Age and but what what <laughs> yeah what, what I'm interested in is like obviously the whole plot of like Bill and Ted was that their music would like save the world and turn into a, like, oh, into no. a utopian futuristic yeah. and thing. And yet here we are in the darkest timeline. And Bill I'm and Ted's I'm sort of hoping it is the power. darkest timeline. And well, the what's the Bill future? And what's the future year in Bill and Ted? Like I don't know. Is I it like remember. twenty? It's probably like I'm doing right now. The future year in Bill and Ted. Let's find out what that is. But they come back at the end of Bogus Journey, don't they? And like Bill's got the big ZZ top beard and like yeah. Um, oh, don't they have like, little babies? Yeah, they have little. Aww. This is little. Aww. Like, Bill, little this Bill, is little Bill. Such good dads. Uh, okay, what year is. Um, you hmm. should have Googled It's more in Bogus Journey, journey isn't it? That they yeah. Yeah. the futuristic stuff, is it? Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. If anyone knows. Just search it. what year, what's the I future did, year? I did. I did. All right, fair Maybe enough. they don't. Um, Maybe they don't put. An, put probably number sensibly, on they don't put. A that was quite forward thinking. It just says the future. That was very forward thinking of them. just says the future. If they'd chosen a number, it would have been 2014. Because they've been dead for a while, right? In that. Because there's statues of them and they're not actually there, are they? Oh, that's oh, true. They're, they're like they're I think cyanic. So. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah maybe yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Well, we've got to the well. bottom of that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Welcome I'm to looking forward to. Is it the same director? I don't know. I'm not sure. I guess that's. I don't. I don't know whether it is. But I'll uh, watch it. Of course. In principle. Yeah, I yeah. can't. I, I'm excited. Mm. Welcome to new member Pixelated Polar Bear. Hey, Thank you for joining us. An evocative name. Um, Agent Santa 47 says, I'm doing better, thank you. I'll take wiki editing breaks to work on my Oxventure fanfic. I don't okay. know if you can call that a break. That's not really a break, is it? Yeah. <laughs> it's just the same thing, but different format of writing. Yeah, that's just alt tabbing into another part of your life. That's also work. <laughs> uh, just Know Yes says, Hi guys from Sweden, Mike, have you seen F1 show on Netflix? And what did you think? What? Uh, yes, what there's, a new, there's a new documentary series about Formula One called F1 Drive to Survive. Uh, I've seen the um, I've seen the first episode. <laughs> That's amazing. Yes, man. Um, I've seen the first You've episode. You've been chased by a yeah. dinosaur. Um, I've seen the first episode. Uh, it was pretty funny. Yes, all the stuff with Gunter Steiner was was hilarious. Oh. Uh, so he's a real character. Cool. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing more of it. Apparently, oh. it, it gets even better as it goes on. So. Oh. What's up? Oh, nothing. I just wanted to tell how long we've been going. Oh. I don't know. Actually, I can. I, let me check because I can uh, find I out. I thought it would say, but I, it is I tweeted. 56 minutes. Ah, yeah. So do we want to wrap it up in four minutes? What do you reckon? Uh, we've still got a lot of comments to get through, but okay. I mean, we can just try and... Let's do, like, quick fire. Okay, okay. okay. all right, quick, quick fire. fire. Okay. All right, yeah. each, each person takes, so takes dot, the answer. Dot JPEG says, if you could have dinner with three video game characters, who would they be? Also, thanks for your infinite good mood and the great vids. You're the best. All right, one each. Commander Shepard. Uh, GLaDOS. Oh, my God, you took Commander Shepard. I can't believe you did. Yeah, but um, your Commander Shepard's different because yours is a lady. Mm. So two Commander Shepherds and GLaDOS. Oh, fine. Yeah, all right. <laughs> all right, welcome, uh, Master Sanic 17 new member. Hey, hey welcome. Hey. Uh, the Jaguar 1983 says, Good day from Oz. I just beat Soul Calibur 6 arcade mode on Legendary nice. last night. What games have you beaten on the hardest difficulty? Oh, Max Payne 2. Because, because, you got a different ending, coming back around to the idea of a different ending, wow. you got a different ending in Max Payne 2 if you finished it on, I think it was the hardest difficulty, which I can't remember what it was called, but um, it was an ending in which, like, Mona Sachs, the, the love interest, yeah. doesn't die, and I'm like, now kiss! Yeah. <laughs> like, I will play this game on the And you didn't have YouTube to just look it up. Yeah. Yeah. You're right! <laughs> you You're right! Kiss. Uh, See, if, if Max Payne 2 came out today, I would have just looked up the ending on YouTube. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Round username for Chris huh. says, best part of the trip, besides Ellen's puns. Um, that lobster roll was pretty good. <laughs> and uh, walking the Freedom Trail was great. I've uh, wanted to do that for a while. I um, really enjoyed it. Uh, our meet and greet was really good fun for mm. me. Yeah, well, obviously that as well. I mean, you look like a real hero. Yeah, mate, you look bad yeah. now. <laughs> really meeting yeah. people. I was meeting and greeting American yeah. history. Uh, donation from KP, thank you very thank much. Thank you. Uh, Mr. UK Raider says, hey, Mike, Jane and Andy, how are you liking Boston? Everything you expected it would be. Yeah, I don't really know what I expected mm. from Boston, but it's a beautiful city and everyone's yep. really friendly and cool. We had an, an amazing conversation with our cab driver on the way in today. It was just nice. like a... Yeah, really nice chill yeah. conversation actually. Um, I've checked off a bunch of the things that I kind of wanted to do and see in a really like condensed mm. trip. Uh, still haven't had any beans. We're going to take a bit of time or for donut. So no beans will happen. Beans, I'm sure. donut. beans yeah. donuts. Uh, Nick Rice donates. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Nick. That's awesome. Uh, we've got a new member, Vinny Thompson. One. Hey, Vinny. Hey. Mason Wood says, if you could have any superpower, what would you want? Uh, Flying. Te teleportation. I think I'm on record as saying it's it's telekinesis because you can use telekinesis to self levitate. So yeah, you get flying for yeah, free, it's, it's yeah. like two for the price But one. probably flying standing up and I want to be like, like that. No, you can support yourself in any posture you want with enough telekinesis. All right, I'll have Jane's telekinesis <laughs> then. Uh, Ace of Space donates, thank you very much. Thanks, thank Kathy Ed says, I wasn't exactly raised on Oxbox, but thanks to you guys I talk more like a Brit than an American. Nice. Excellent. British right. swearing, that's, that's the key. Oh, yeah. 
Got, uh, got some good swears. <laughs> Nathan Smithen says, all this mention of Manchester in the comments throws me for a loop because I live in Tennessee and keep forgetting about the OG uh, Manchester. Manchester, the Tennessee. OG Manchester. I uh, have a friend uh, called Sam Phillip who writes for Top Gear, uh, and he did... They were trying to think of something to do with the new Ford Focus or whatever it was, and so he went to all the places in America called Essex. He did a road trip. Because they used and to build... And there's lots of places called Essex? Yeah, tons of them. Really? Yeah, and there's probably ton of, a ton of Manchesters. There's loads of, oh, like, yeah. Bristols. There's, like... There's so many repeated... Yeah, yeah, yeah. ...British names, sure. basically. Sure, yeah. Um, uh, Ob- Obadiah Pine, I think that is. So they're headed to London in a few weeks. I'll only be there for a few days. Any suggestions oh, for no, what I should do? Oh, no, a few days. Uh, you should go and have a pint in Ye Old Cheshire Cheese. Which yeah, is oldest pub in London. Uh, just off Fleet Street, and it's... They made it... Built it in 1667, and it's pretty much the same now as if it was If you want, like, then. the big hitter museum... Probably go the Natural History Museum because it's a beautiful cool. building and it's got you know cool dinosaurs. Probably good stuff. Or the Tate Modern's like a great art gallery to go to. And a cool building, yeah. So I, I think if, if you need to maximise your time, yep. Then uh, walk the South Bank, which is where the Tate Modern. Oh yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, you get, yeah, 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 yeah. Get the yeah. shoes to like um, dense with. Go to good London stuff. Bridge and then walk through Borough Market and then up the South Bank. Oh, yeah. Um, Food in Borough Market. Yeah. Tate Modern. Then you go past yeah Shakespeare's Globe Unless and it's all raining. that stuff. <laughs> Um, in which case stay indoors Velcro Yuppie says I went to the kitchen to give the kitty some chicken and Beatty refused to leave the computer while Jane is on I had to oh bring the stream up on my phone so she can oh the man. that cat has yeah. <laughs> set an obsession yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, mean, I wish I'd met any cat IRL that liked me as much as that cat <laughs> yeah normally they're like yeah. uh, Doug Snyder says I have two video ideas seven most brutal hitman kills would get immediately demonetized yeah. <laughs> and seven most over the top funniest hitman kills Possibly Pro- same problem. Probably also. But no, the funniest one. Funniest I think. would be good. Yeah, that would yeah. be good. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did I one that was like, um, what happens next in Hitman? Oh, yeah, that guess was great. what yeah. comes next. If you, yeah, if you have a look on the channel for our Hitman quiz, it was really good. Guess what funny. comes next, yeah. yeah. There's yeah. some great yeah. stuff in there. Uh, I want to do a video on like the, the, the seven careers that Agent 47 would unexpectedly flourish. Like he's in. an amazing portrait like, painter. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. He's got amazing upper body strength, so some sort of, I don't know, free climber. Free climber, yeah, free soloist. Um, Garrett Gorham says, uh, hey guys, any opinions on Borderlands 3? We talked about this earlier yep. in the stream, actually. Um, I think we're all broadly excited. We're I for it. it. Yes, we are for Borderlands In favour of. Um, cool. Nina says, guys, pro jet lag tip. Stay awake as late as you normally would. Local time with the place you're arriving at. You'll have one really long day and probably be very tired, but no jet lag. After the first I'm sure it's doing... easy when you say it, Nina. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sleepy and I want to sleep. No, you're right. We did actually do a pretty good job of staying awake. Yeah. I think we're pretty much up to date and yeah. we're about an hour. So Sweet. That's a tight 60 yeah. minutes. Yeah. Thanks everyone for joining us for this impromptu PAX q yeah. 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 First session. ever. Uh, yeah, let us know if you enjoyed this sort of format, I guess. Yeah. Um, because Maybe. we'd like to do more of these sorts yeah. of things from other events uh, just to sort of give you guys a look at what we get up to. Mm-hmm. And answer those things. questions in an additional way. Burning point. questions that you have about um, superpowers and things of that nature. <laughs> but yeah, um, we are going to go off and do some more packs. Now. Yeah. So yeah, thanks for watching. And show of the week will be going up uh, shortly. We just need to like write all the words that go under it. Yeah. Things cool. of that nature. Show of the week coming very, very soon. And it's got more pack stuff in it, actually. So mm. if you like packs, we've got all the packs that yeah. you can packs. Yeah. <laughs> you've got packs in your packs. Cool. Right, I'm going to go and lunge over at the button to stop right. the Mike's going to go lunge. Bye, we're everyone. Gonna, we're going to like wait until you finish lunging.